Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jackie from The Corner of Jackie and today I'm bringing you the update on my no buy, low buy week four. It has been four weeks since I've started this project and it has been amazing. Um, it, we, it, been, it has been rocky, I will have to say, but it has been an amazing experience to learn and to understand where the money is going, um, what are my mine and my husband's spending habits, and to kind of realize what we need to do to get things done, to get things paid. And I'm super excited because I have, uh, I'm going to do like an overall uh, update on um, the spending uh, and the no buy, low buy project. So first of all, I'm going to give you the rundown for the week. This is for the week of uh, February 1st through February 7th. So for utilities, we spent $218.47. For groceries, we spent $81.06. So we were down from last week $68.59 on the groceries. So I was able to manage that and get everything we needed um, with less money. So it was really good. We didn't spend anything on entertainment. Um, eating out, it was still a little high. It was $141.60, but it was less than last week. We were $11.32 less than last week on the eating out. Since, and then since we didn't spend that much on the groceries, we were able to kind of wiggle our way into um, like eating out it was it kind of balanced out so at least for me and my husband so we, we're okay with that miscellaneous it was $39.72 um, so we were up $3.72 from la last week on that category uh, the bills for that particular week it was $201.91. So we had a little extra on the bills, like $37.03 was extra from last week. Cash on hand, we took $120 out. Uh, transportation, uh, one of my tires busted and we had to replace it. So it was $55.34. On personal care, to me, that will be my nails. That is something that um, is necessary for me. It is a need for me personally. To me, that's uh, self-care and that's me time. So it was $37.18. And then clothing for my husband because he, uh, I, am, I am not buying any clothing, um, but he is not. So, um, he was a, we went to Marshall's, he needed some new shirts and, uh, a new pair of shoes. So it was $55 and three cents for a total spend, um, that last week of a thousand dollars, seven cents and 72 cents. So I actually forgot to do the math. So let's see, one, four, six, five, 95 minus one, zero, zero, seven. 72 so we spend less this week it was 458 dollars and 23 cents less so to me that is a plus it is um it has been good this week it has been we have managed our spending really good um so i am super excited and now i'm going to share with you like my overall think of uh, this process of being more intentional on the way that I, we spend the money, being more aware of where the money is going, um, have a, having a better understanding of what it makes me or my husband like spend money. Um, we've been on the same page uh, since day one and I am super excited that we have made 
a lot of progress on paying down our debt. I know that we can improve. I know that we should be doing better and that we can do better. Um, so that's a goal for this coming month, for the next four weeks. Um, I would like to kind of be spending less on some of the areas, for example, the eating out. Um, but thankfully this had, this has brought to me, um, clarification on the things that I need to do and it has makes me understand better um, how to manage my money. So I want to share with you how much we have paid of um, since the start of this journey. So I'll be right back. Okay, so ooh, I had to run downstairs to get the things. So on our fridge we have two pieces, two pieces of paper that are like a reminder of why we are doing this. So the first one, um, I printed this out from a website. Um, it's called cult uh, cultivatednest.com and they have printables and they pay debt pay off tips. So the first thing is a thermometer and this is the total amount that we owe in our credit cards and it shows like you know the payoff um, progress that you're doing so this is very good it is very visual for us to understand like you know how much money we owe on the credit cards and then how much money um, we are paying off and then the second thing that it's on our fridge and I'm gonna just cover um, the list of debts because I want to keep my privacy somehow um, so this is the second list that is on our fridge so it is our list of debts so we have anything that we owe is on this list and the red marks are the things that we have already paid off so, so far we have paid off one, two, three, four, five, six debts in total. Two of them are credit cards. So I'm super excited, super happy. My husband is as well as excited as me. Um, we have done and sacrificed some things in order to be able to pay off our debt. So in total we have paid off six hundred thirty eight dollars and thirty three cents in just four weeks um maybe some people will think like ah oh, that's nothing but to me that is a lot that is six hundred thirty eight dollars and thirty three cents that are out of the way out of my shoulders out of my mind and the feeling and um emotion that I feel from getting that done it is super super duper amazing um, and we have paid up and our total debt credit card debt three hundred seven dollars and ninety three cents so there's two credit cards that are already paid off completely so I am super excited we are almost halfway on our first 10% of our debt paid off and I cannot be more excited and happy and this validates the process. It validates um, that what we're doing, we're doing it right. Uh, yes, we can be better. Yes, we can be spending less, but we've. Been, this is a work in process and it is a journey, it is not a race, it, it, you know, we have to pace ourselves out and I'm pretty sure we are gonna find our balance and we're gonna find uh, the perfect uh, formula to um, make this a little better. So that is my update for now. This is the four week mark. I'm super excited and um, ex waiting for what is going to come for next month. Please give this video a thumbs up 
if you like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it go ahead and follow me on social media i have uh twitter facebook uh, Instagram, everything is The Corner of Jackie. And I have my own blog, it's thecornerofjackie.com. Go ahead and check me out over there. Uh, follow me, leave your comments on my blogs. Um, leave your comments down below if you're doing something similar, if you want to start this process, if you want more information about it. Just leave me your comments down below and I will respond to them. This is it for today, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.